hello there guys welcome back to our youtube channel cat camster today we will design this simple wheel support assembly in solidworks 2018 and first we will sketch each and every component of this assembly and then later on we will assemble all our components this is a very basic type of assembly tutorial in which we are going to use very basic commands which are extrude extrude cut and very simple mate commands like constant and concentric mates so if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell notifications so that you get notifications of all our latest uploads so before moving on to the tutorial first i will use this drawing which is in pdf format and i'm going to use this drawing to make our this assembly it contains all the dimensions in millimeters so this is our drawing and to this is the bill of materials you can see there are total of eight parts in this assembly the first one is base which we will draw it first after that the next part is bolt here the quantity of bolt is four you can see these are four bolts and these are the exploded lines which you can see with here these are the exploded lines and after that nut shoulder screw support wheel and washer so this is our drawing of first part this so let's get started First, I will exit this assembly mode. Now, select here file, select here new. Now, select here part, click here OK. Now, let me change background to here plain white and select here millimeter gram second system. Now, you can either select front plane to sketch or any plane which you would like to select. Or you can directly select here extrude boss base you can see when you will click on this extrude boss base as this is an applied feature it only it is only applicable on a 2d sketch or a cross section so it will first ask you for the plane and when you will sketch on this plane and exit then it will ask for the extrude distance so let me select here directly front plane select here normal to and select here sketch now let me hover over the drawing you can see this is our first part first we will sketch this center rectangle of dimensions 40 and 115 mm now select here center rectangle select this origin as a center and create one rectangle now you can select here smart dimension to dimension this or you can right click on this screen and select here smart dimension this will be 115 enter the value of 115 and this select this edge this will be 40 enter the value of 40 mm click here ok now you can see this is our part now we have to make these four holes for that you can directly create these four holes or you can create a rectangle on which corners these holes are present and the rectangle dimensions will be here let me select here pencil the rectangle dimensions will be this 65 and this 20 the length will be 65 and the width will be 20 now you can select here center rectangle create one rectangle like this now select a smart dimension its length will be 65 so select this edge this will be 65 now this distance from center to center is 20 let me zoom in now this is 20 so select this edge this will be 20 now we have to select this rectangle right click and make construction 
sorry select all these edges select here make construction now select here circle command now we have to create these four holes on these corners all four corners of dia 5 mm now select this corner create a circle now again select this corner create a circle select this corner create one circle and select this corner create one circle now now select this any of the four circles and hold down the control key and select all four circles or all three remaining circles you can see all four circles are selected now we will add some constraint now select here equal relationship now click here ok now we have to assign the dia which is here you can see 5 mm now select any of the four circles because all of them are in equal constraint so enter the value of 4 mm now now we have to extrude it up to a distance of 5 mm thickness which is mentioned here now go to features select your extrude boss space now select here mid plane to extrude and enter the value of 5 mm now click here ok now you can see this is our part number one base now i will add some appearance to it go to appearance select here metal and steel select here dust steel now we will save this part go to file select here save select here desktop and create one folder name wheel support assembly you can save it anywhere you want i am saving it on the desktop now this is our part number one base now save this part now we will sketch in the next step our next part which is this part number two support now we will sketch our next part which is part number two this support this is our part number two and this is a first angle projection drawing this is the front view this is the side view and this is the top view of our part and all these dimensions are in millimeter so let's get started first select here file select here new now select here part click here ok now let me change background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system make sure you are working under mmgs system now select here front plane to sketch now select here sketch now select line command first we will sketch this profile for that select this origin select this line and create these profile now we have to assign some dimension select here smart dimension you can see from here to this base this is 40 mm so select this edge and this point this will be 40 mm now you can see this is also 40 mm
and the extrude distance is this 40 mm and here you can see this distance is also 40 mm. So select this edge, this will be also 40. Now you can see there is an offset of 5 mm and a fillet of 6.25 mm radius. Now select your fillet, enter the value of 6.25. Now select this edge and this edge. Now click here, OK. Now select here offset entities and enter the value of 5 mm. Now select this edge. Make sure you select here, select chain so that the remaining which is coincident with this line is automatically selected. Direction will be inside. Now click here, OK. Now select here a yield line command. Now connect these two points. Same as the above. Connect these two points. Now you can see our sketch is ready. Now we have to extrude it up to a distance of 40 mm. Now go to feature, select here extrude ball space and select here mid plane and enter the value of 40 mm. Click here, OK. Now we have to make some holes. You can see there is a 10 mm dia hole in on this face. So select this face, click here normal to and sketch. Now select here circle command and create one circle like this. Now select a smart dimension. You can see the die of the circle is 10 mm. So select this circle, enter the value of 10 mm. Now from the above edge it is 15 mm, its center is 15 mm and from this side edge it is 20 mm. So select this side edge, this will be 20. Now go to features, select here extrude cut. Now select here through all both. Now click here OK. Now you can see our hole is made. Now we have to make two holes on this face, on this face. Now select this face, click here normal to. Now you can see this is not the required view which we want to sketch. You can either sketch on this or you can tilt it or you can use the shift plus arrow keys to tilt in a right direction. I will simply sketch, sorry, sketch is also selected. Now, select this face and sketch. Now, select circle command. Now create two circles on this face like this. Now, you can see these two circles are of die 5 mm. So, I will add one constraint, select this circle, hold down the control key, select the other circle and make them equal. Now select the center of the first circle, hold down the control key, select the center of the other circle, make them vertical. Now go to smart dimension, select any of these two circles and enter the value of 5 mm because the dia is you can see it's 5 millimeters. Now you can see the center to center distance is 20 mm and the from the side edge it is 10 mm. So select here smart dimension. Now select this side edge and select this center. This will be 10 mm. Now select the center of the first circle and the center of the other circle and this will be 20 as per the drawing. Now you can see from this edge it is 15 mm or their centers are 15 mm at a vertical distance. Now select this edge, this center, this will be 15. 
Now go to features, select here extrude cut and select here through all both. Click here OK. Now you can see we have created the other two holes of our part number two support. If you want to verify your part, you can verify it. So like suppose I select this face and click here normal to and switch here. Header lines visible view. Now you can see when you will compare this view to this top view. Sorry, this front view you will get the same view. Now if you will rotate. it like this you can get the side view like this so in this way you can verify your part now I will add some appearance to it select here brush steel now save this part number 2 select file save now this is our part number 2 support Now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number 3 wheel. Now we will sketch our next component which is part number 3 wheel. You can see this is the drawing of our part number 3 wheel and this is the section view along the central axis AA and these are the dia of the sections and so what we will do is we will create this upper half or lower half profile then we will use the revolve command along this axis which is shown here then we will get this type of profile and all these dimensions are in millimeters so make sure you are working under millimeter gram second system now let's get started go to file select a new now select here part click here ok now select here background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system now i will select here front plane to sketch click here normal to and sketch now first select here center line select this point as the origin now create one center line now we have to specify the total distance which is 15 mm go to smart dimension select this line enter the value of 15 mm now again select a line command now we will sketch this even half of this profile let me zoom in yes like this now if you want you can click sketch this full profile or you can create this half profile because this profile is symmetric along this vertical axis i will sketch this half profile then mirror it so the distance from here to up to this center line will be seven and a half mm because the whole distance is 15 mm so select here again center line select here either you can select here midpoint or you can distance them seven and a half mm now we have to specify this height which is the dia from here to here it is 40 mm dia which is shown in the front view so this will be 20 the half now select this edge enter the value of 20 mm like this now select here line command Now we will sketch our profile. like this now 
assign some dimensions go to smart dimension you can see the angle is 90 degree so the half angle will be 45 degree select this edge this edge this will be 45 degree angle now add one constraint select this point hold down the control key select this point and make them horizontal now select this point hold down the control key select this point make them vertical again select this point and this point make them vertical now again select a smart dimension now you can see this is 4 mm thickness so select this edge this will be 4 mm enter the value of 4 mm now here it is 5 5 mm thickness so from center line it will be 2.5 select this edge this edge this will be two and a half now yeah one more thing which i by mistake did it is these there is a gap between the base now what we can do is create one line like this up to here select here trim entities and trim this portion now select these two points make them vertical now you can see the this gap is this one and this gap is actually this dia of 6.05 so select smart dimension select these two and this distance will be 6.25 divided by 2 this will be 6.25 divided by 2 like this drag this up to here now you can see this dia is of 10 mm so from here up to here it will be 10 mm this will be 10 mm so from this edge select smart dimension select this edge and this edge this will be 5 mm now one more dimension we have to specify is from this edge you can see this outer edge is the dia of 40 mm and the inner one is of 33 so from the center line to this edge this will be 33 divided by 2 like this now you can see our sketch is fully defined now select your mirror entities drag and select all these entities now select your mirror about select this axis click here ok now go to features select your evolve boss space now axis of revolution select this axis and angle will be 360 degree make sure you uncheck your direction to and thin feature now click here ok now you can see we have created our part this is our part number three wheel i will add some appearance to it select here policy steel now save this part part number three we click here save now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number four shoulder screw now we will sketch our next part which is part number four shoulder screw this is our drawing of our part number four this is the front view and this is the side view of our part so select your file select your new now select your part click here ok now select your background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system now select front plane here now select your sketch 
Now, first we will sketch the half profile. You can either sketch the above half or the lower half profile. Then we will use the revolve command along the center line, which is this one. To create this profile, you can either create this profile by using the extrude command, or I am going to use here the revolve command. Now, sketch this profile. The Select here center line, snap this origin point and create one center line like this. Now select a smart dimension. The total length is 37 mm. So select this edge, enter the value of 37 mm. Now select here again line command, snap this point and create the profile. Now select this edge, this will be 27 mm. And this will be 4 mm. Select this edge, this will be 4 mm. Now we have to specify the dia. You can see the lower dia or the inner dia is of 4 mm. You can select these two edges, either enter the value of 2 mm or move your cursor towards the above side to show it by the dia. Now enter the value of 4 mm. You can also I am indicating it by the dia that is why it is showing on this side. Now select this edge and this edge. If you want to show it by the radius you can hover your cursor towards this side or other side if you want to show it by the dia. Now the dia is 6.25, enter the value of 6.25, now the larger dia is of 10 mm, so select this edge, select this edge, this will be 10, like this, now select this, sorry, select this line and uncheck this construction geometry, otherwise it will show open geometry while revolve using the revolve command now go to revolve boss ways now revolve axis will be this one and angle will be 360 degree click here ok now this is our part number 4 shoulder screw now I will add some appearance now save this part part number 4 shoulder screw Save this part. Now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number 5 bolt. Now we will create our next part which is bolt here. Now we will sketch this part. This is the front view of our part. So let's get started. Select here file, select here new, now select here part, click here ok, now select here background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system, now select here front plane and select here sketch, now select here polygon, sides will be 6 and select here inscribe circle, now snap this origin point and create one hexagon now we have to specify the distance which is 10 mm from here to here it is 10 mm now one more constraint now select these two points or you can select these two points using the control key and make them horizontal now go to features select here extrude boss base and you can see the thickness is 4 mm select here mid plane enter the value of 4 mm click here ok now if you want to verify you can verify it by 
you select the top plane select here evaluate select this edge and this edge this total distance should be sorry let me select here smart dimension select here reference dimension now select this edge and this edge you can see this is 10 mm as per the drawing now select any of these two faces if this one or you can select the opposite face now select a sketch now select circle command snap this origin point and create one circle now go to smart dimension you can see the dia is 5 mm so select this circle enter the value of 5 mm now go to features select here extrude boss base now you can see the distance from the top is 13 and this is 4 mm so this will be 13 minus 4 which is 9 mm so you can either enter the value of 9 mm or you can select 13 minus 4 sorry this is 9 mm click here ok now we have to create one draft which is you can see with this profile for that this draft is only at the top you can see this draft so I will select this top face select here normal to and select here sketch select here circle command now snap this point create one circle now select this circle hold down the control key select this edge and add the tangent relationship now go to features select here extrude cut now you can see the direction of cut is downwards now select here flip side to cut direction should be this one now select a draft and select here throw all direction will be throw all and draft angle will be 60 degree now if you want to see the preview you can see the preview is showing now uncheck this preview now click here ok now you can see we have created our draft on this face now I will add some appearance to it select a polish steel this is our bold now save this part part number 5 bold click here save now in the next step we will create our next part which is nut now we will design our next part which is nut which is this part first we will create a hexagon of 10 mm after that we will extrude it up to a distance of 5 mm then you can see there is a hole of dia 4 mm through all this part so let's get started select here file select here new select here part click here ok now select here plain white background and system to sorry plain white and select here millimeter gram second now select here front plane the sketch select here polygon enter the value of 6 sides will be 6 now create one hexagon now select this point hold down the control key select this point make them horizontal now select these two centers you can see their distance is 10 mm enter the value of 10 mm now go to again select circle command create one circle of dia 4 mm select a smart dimension enter the value of 4 mm now go to features select a extrude boss case 
and thickness will be 5 mm select here mid plane enter the value of 5 mm click here ok now you can see we have to create this draft on both the faces top and bottom let me zoom in you can see these drafts are present at the top and bottom face i will create only one side other one i will mirror it using the one which i have created now select a sketch select this face and normal to now select a circle command snap this origin point create one circle now select the circle hold down the control key select this edge make them tangent now go to features select here extrude cut now select here through all and direction you can see it is showing downward so select here flip side to cut make sure towards left or towards right will be the direction now select your draft angle will be 60 degree now if you want to see the preview you can see click here on this eye icon uncheck this now click here ok you can see our draft has been created now we want this draft on the other face too you can see I have intentionally created the about the mid plane so that my front plane falls on the mid of this whole thickness which is 5 mm now select here mirror now I will mirror this cut extrude select this cut extrude click here ok now you can see this is our next part which is not now I will add some opinion select your polished steel now go to file select your save this is part number 6 not click on save now in the next step we will create our next part which is bushing Now we will create our next part which is pushing this is the drawing of our part first we will create these two circles of 6.25 mm die and 10 mm after that we will extrude it up to a thickness of 5 mm about the mid plane so let us get started select file select here new select a part click here ok now select here background to plane white select here millimeter gram second system select front plane select here sketch now select circle command snap this origin point as a center and create two circles now go to smart dimension select this inner one its dia will be 6.25 as per the drawing this one and select this outer one its dia will be 10 now go to features select here extrude boss piece and select here mid plane thickness will be 5 mm which is here enter the value of 5 mm enter click here ok this will be 5 mm now we will add some appearance to it select here polish steel now select here file select here save and save this part as part number 7 bushing In the next step we will create our next part which is part number 8 this washer now we will create one last part which is part number 8 this washer you can see this is the drawing of our part its thickness is 1 mm and the inner hole is of 6.25 and the outer one is of dia 12 mm so let's get started go to file select here new select here part click here ok now select background to plane white select a millimeter gram second now select this front plane sketch select circle command create two circles now select a smart dimension select this inner one of dia 6.25 enter the value of 6.25 which is mentioned here and the other one is of 12 now select this outer one its dia will be 12 so enter the value of 12 mm 
Now go to features, select here extrude boss space and enter the value of 1 mm. Select here mid plane. Your thickness is 1 mm. Now click here OK. Now add some appearance. Select here polish steel. Now save this part. This is our part number 8 washer. Now click here save. In the next step, we will assemble. We will assemble all our components which we have created right now. Now in this step we will assemble all our components which we have created till now. There are total 8 components. So first we will enter into the assembly mode for the select here file. Select here new. Now select here assembly. Now select here background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system. Now first we will insert our base, select here all files, import first part which is base, rotate it like this. Now again select insert component, select next part which is support, rotate it like this. Now select this inside face, select here mate or you can select mate by this here. Now select this inside face of the hole, make them concentric, click here OK. Now select this face and this inner face, make them concentric, click here OK. Now select this base face and this top face, make them coincident. Click here OK. Now we will mirror it. Now go to features. Select here mirror component. Mirror plane. Expand this base. And select this right plane. Components will be this one. Now click on this arrow. You can see it will show different configurations. However, in this case only one configuration is present that is why it is grayed out otherwise it will show two or more, more than two configurations. Now click here OK. Now insert part number 3. Wheel. Now select this inside face of the wheel. Select here mate command, select this inside face, make them concentric, click here OK. Now expand this advanced mate section. We want this wheel to be in the exactly at the middle of this section. For that select here width mate. Now select this face and this face of the wheel, outermost faces. Now select this outer face and this outer face. Now you can see this is exactly at the middle. Now click here OK. Now exit this mate command. Now select again insert component. Select here all files. Now insert this part bushing. Now select this inside face. Select here mate command. Select this inside face. Make them concentric, click here OK. Now select this face and this face. Make them coincident, click here OK. Now you can see our bushing is inserted into the hole. Now insert. This time we will insert washer. Insert part number 8, washer. Now select this inside surface, click here made. Select this inside surface, make them concentric, click here OK. Now drag it like this, now select this face and this face. Make them coincident, click here OK. Now you can see 
now we will mirror these two components on this side for that i have i am using the right plane of the base as the mirror plane now expand this section select your mirror component now select this right plane of the part number one base now components we have to select is this outer face select this outer face washer and this inner face of bushing now you can see it is showing the preview now click here ok you can see the two components have been mirrored now in the next step we will insert our next part select here all files insert this shoulder screw rotate it like this now select this outer surface select here mate command and select this inside surface of the hole make them concentric click here ok now drag it like this now zoom in select this face and this face make them coincident click here ok now in the next step we will insert this part number 4 which is not according to this bill of material now insert component insert this part number 6 nut now select this inside surface select in mate select this outside surface make them concentric click here or you can select it by clicking here also now click here ok now drag it like this now we want this face and this face to be coincident now select this surface make them coincident click here ok now we have to insert the bolts sorry select a insert component now insert this part number 5 bolt like this now select this outside surface click here mate select this inside surface make them concentric now select this face and this face make them consistent click here ok now exit this mid command by clicking on this cross icon now we will use one special command which is quite in handy now select this face right click and select here copy with mates now click on this arrow it will ask for the concentric relation I want with this hole and face will be the same so click here repeat now click on this check icon now concentric relation with this face and uncheck this repeat because this time the face will be this one and this is a different part click here ok now select this inside face and this surface click here ok now click on this cross icon you can see in this way we can create and assemble this simple assembly of wheel support assembly if you like our video please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon settings to all notifications so that you get notifications of all our latest uploads and if you have inquiry then you can ask in our facebook group or in the comment section of the video thank you